Hi everyone, my name is Shasta Webb and I chose to do the Tin Can Book Report. And the book I chose was The Hundred Dresses by Eleanor Estes. So we'll open it up here and on the inside I have a picture of dresses and the names, oops sorry, Wanda Peggy and Maddie on the inside. Those are the three main characters in the story. And we take the papers out of here. And we have our first character Character is Wanda. So Wanda is a Polish girl. She's a new student. She's very poor. Um, and she has a funny last name because she's Polish. It is Petrowski. And so... Her family catches a lot of grief because of their um, funny last name, they're foreign, they're poor. Um, so she kind of gets made fun of a little bit, but not so much for that, as we'll, we'll kind of discuss here later. So the next character is Peggy. Peggy is the most popular girl in school. She makes fun of Wanda for lying about having 100 dresses. Um, she doesn't really see it as being mean, though. And she calls it having fun with Wanda. And Maddie. So Maddie is Peggy's best friend. And... Um, she feels bad for Wanda, but she never says anything when she's getting picked on. Um, she wants to say something, but she doesn't say anything because Maddie is also poor. So she's afraid that Peggy is going to turn the tables on her and she's also going to make fun of her. And she doesn't really want that. So she's scared to to stand up for Wanda, even though she feels bad. She, she doesn't want to say anything because she doesn't want to be picked on. So Wanda misses school for several days and Peggy and Maddie only notice because they they give her a hard time um, every morning and um, recess after school, um, <clears throat> just asking her about her hundred dresses. So the way this starts is um, school is getting ready to start and one of their classmates has on a brand new dress and there's a whole group of girls there and... Um, they're in a hurry and Wanda has walked to school with her brother and he's like, come on, let's go, let's go. And she kind of stays back and says, no, no, you go on ahead. So she kind of ends up in the group of girls that are all kind of chatting and talking and oogling over the new dress. And it just kind of, she blurts it out. Well, no, she doesn't even blurt it out. She kind of whispers to Peggy um, that she has a hundred dresses in her closet. She's like, what? So from that point on, Peggy what likes to ask her about her hundred dresses that she has in her closet. Um, and again, she doesn't really see it as um, being mean. And if you had asked her if she was bullying, she she wouldn't have known what she was doing was wrong. Um, she thought that... Uh, Wanda was lying. Why would you say that you had a hundred dresses? Who says that? You don't have a hundred dresses. So um, she didn't really think that she was picking on her. It's not till later that she realizes what she was doing was wrong. So there's a coloring contest at school and Maddie thinks that um, Peggy is going to win because she's a really good drawler and well they get to school and there are 100 dresses all pinned up uh, around the classroom everywhere and they were Wanda's dresses. Um, Wanda turns out to be an excellent drawler. The girl can draw. She ends up winning the contest but she's nowhere to be found. She's gone. They don't know where she's at. She hasn't been to school in a week so she's won the contest and the girls are feeling pretty bad at this point. Um, so the girls feel terrible and they want to find Wanda. Um, she's moved away. They get a letter from her dad saying that they're moving. They're tired of the um, townspeople um, picking on them and they're going to move into the city because there's a lot more of their kind in the city. So that's what they do. They uh, pack up and they move into the city. So the girls feel really terrible. They don't know what to do. They visit her house. She's not there. They're already gone. So they write her a letter. They write a letter 
The girls write Wanda a letter, and to their surprise, uh, several weeks go by, and they receive a letter back from Wanda. And um, she gifts the girls two dresses. The red and green one is for Peggy, and the blue one is for Maddie. And then upon examining them closer, they realize that she actually drew pictures of the girls in the dresses. She, she gifts the girls the dresses, and she also tells them that she really misses her old school. So even the, though the girls were not very nice to her, um, she still liked them. She was still nice to them. And uh, prior to even moving, she had drawn all these dresses and had intended on giving them to the girls so um kind of this is a great story it has a great moral you shouldn't judge a book by a cover um don't be a bully stand up for others so Wanda was being picked on and Maddie felt really uncomfortable with it but she wasn't willing to say anything so I think this teaches kids that we need to stand up for not only ourselves but for others especially when they don't have a voice um, and when you have that feeling inside that you know something is not right then you really need to act on it and um, Maddie should have done that and she didn't do that and just because you don't think what you're doing is hurtful or wrong doesn't mean it's not um, so we have to think about our actions and how they're affecting other people, what we're saying and what we're doing. If we're la laughing and picking at somebody um, and everybody's laughing, we really need to think about if, if what we're saying is um, hurtful to someone else. Are they laughing too? Are they really laughing with you? Or is what you're saying harmful to them? And don't discriminate people because they are in a different social or economic class. So this had a really powerful message. I think um, probably an age range of about 6 to 10-ish, um, an older elementary school kid. And um, just thinking of ways of being intentionally kind to others. I think this is a great message, a powerful story, and I really enjoyed it.